Well, hello and welcome back to Disgaea 2. Today we're going to be taking care of quite a few of the, well not quite a few, but some of the Dark World stuff. Uh, I want to go ahead and just unlock the Dark World stuff by talking to Friday four times. And then I actually want to head into the Dark Assembly before I continue. There's one thing, we are currently in Chapter 2 that you can do only when you're in Chapter 2. And that is the funds to fight Xenon 1. I think there are... I don't know, seven, six or seven of these that happen. Also, I am Kotaro, the hero of Sarkoke Village. Everyone in my village is depending on me to find Overlord Zenon and kill him. I'm a boy swordsman. An admirable hero like me needs an admirable amount of donations, please. Okay, and... Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and just finish bribing everybody here and see if we can't get this passed. Nay, 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 uh, I don't know what was going on there. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, actually unlock. Well, let's actually start with the first one here. We've already unlocked it. It's automatically unlocked at the beginner's field. You guys can actually see my attacks. <laughs> Uh, yes, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so in this one, uh, actually, let me quickly show you the sun report. Uh, initial enemies that are killed will be revived. Yeah, that's a pain. So we want to make sure that we don't let that happen. These guys are only level 80, so I don't even really think that we need to um, actually do much more than just attack. Let's see. Let's find out. I'm gonna do a full strike. Yeah, no, we really didn't need to do that. Holy crap. Okay. Not too big a deal, that one's pretty easy. Uh, there's some nice stuff in here. Not that we would have gotten to it very easily, so whatever. All right, so the next one after that is the Reflection Pond. Uh, we need to do this one without taking damage. This one's actually really easy, so let's go ahead and just use a winged slayer. Let's zoom back out so you guys can actually see what's going on. That will hit four of the guys, and then we'll just have Mustafa take out the last guy. Okay, and with that, since we didn't take any damage, we should have unlocked it. Okay, now usually um, at the end of the battle, if you unlock it, it'll ask you if you want to enter the Dark World, and I actually do want to enter the Dark World. There are some maps that will warp you automatically into the Dark World, and that works. One of the things also, um, you can ascend your guys up to fight the uh, the sun, but we can't quite do that. Oh, we only have three, or, yeah, three rounds, and then it's game over for us, by the way. So let's, let's do this. Um, but the problem is, if you have felonies, your guys actually can't fight the Dark Sun. You have to be felony, felony list. And we're just not currently at that point. Um, we really don't have much else to say about that. So we won't be just feeding the Dark Sun. We're just going to be clearing the battle. Okay, so that one is now cleared. So let's do Psycho's Hideout next. This one, you just need to take damage. And it is a warp map. So you'll get automatically thrown into the battle. Uh, let's see here. I think we would just want to take out Nadine here. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Nadine should probably get owned. <laughs> so as well that chest. But the gate to the dark world will be opened and we will be teleported in. Ooh, that's a harder sun. Okay, let's zoom out here. We've got the enemy boost times three, and we have three of these Garms at level 85. The Sun Report, um, I think this is... I'm not entirely sure. The Curse is pretty bad, which basically means you'll be 
uh, in a bad place, but I'm not sure what all the rest of this means. And we're not really going to sit around to find out what it means, so... So there. Okay, let's just go ahead and go, as always, all out on these guys. I'm not too worried about these particular paddles. Uh, things change very rapidly, though, in later battles. We don't care. Okay, and the last one here, uh, obviously you can see that we didn't actually clear this because we got warped out, but is the dead tree field. Let's go ahead and zoom out of here. Now you just need to defeat the, whoops, no, we want to actually use, um, uh, we don't actually don't need to do that. Let's, uh, let's use fire. We just need to take this green skull out, so. Why not? It's been a while since we've seen the Omega Fire one. But that opens the gate to the Dark World. I think Miriam will be the only one that's in here, so that's not a big deal. <laughs> 10 star difficulty, is that what I just saw? Yeesh. All right, well, let's zoom out and see what we've got, actually. The Sun Report. Ally changed. I'm actually not sure what that means off the top of my head, but over here, uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of reverse damage, um, which means we need to use healing against them. Now, this isn't actually going to be a big deal. Let's go ahead and just use a heal against the first six here, and let's find out what that changed means. I wouldn't worry too much about it. been turned into a dragon. Again, I'm not too worried about that. Let's just go ahead and move her a little forward and then go ahead and use heal on the back too. Yeah, just that'll end that. Not a big deal. And so that should in fact clear out the first four of these. We've cleared each one once. So there we go. So let's go ahead and let's unlock chapter two. Okay, let's go ahead and start by, uh, I think we need to defeat this in less than two rounds. Uh, one of the things to note here is we may actually need to do this twice because I don't actually remember if uh, this can be done the first time. And if not, if it doesn't unlock the first time, I'll just real quick do it a second time, not a problem. The best way we can do to do this is to toss out some of our guys that can do long ranged attacks, like Adele. I think we can use a soaring fire here to take these two guys out. And then we want to do that one more time using one of our other heavy knights. I think maybe Peachy will work best here. She's got a pretty good movement and reach. Destroy all. Uh, so as you can see, we didn't unlock it. So let's real quick do that again. Okay, not a big deal. Did it in again one turn? Let's go ahead and enter the dark world. That doesn't look good. What does all this mean? Well, let's go ahead and zoom out and see if it will actually tell us. Uh, first things first, sun report. Um, dark bombed, poisoned. Uh, that's what that PSN means is poisoned. Dark cannon attacks. Um, oh, sometimes there's good things. Oh, I should probably show that off. Enemies recover all HP. Allies recover all HP. So yeah, that is definitely a thing that can happen. Um, I I don't know what else to tell you about these guys that are looking kind of weird here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what happens when we take these guys out. Hmm. 
Nothing happens. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take... These guys are only level 85, so it should be okay. I'm not too worried about it. Do we have anyone, any one of these guys that's like, like this guy is? Hmm. The guy in the back actually doesn't have anything that's gonna happen to him. I don't know what to tell you. But we're definitely gonna be hit by whatever's going on. So let's uh, let's find out what happens. I'm curious. Ow. Ah, he ascended. So when something ascends, er, ascends yeah, it increases the level of the sun, among other things. And that's not terribly great, to be honest with you. Though I'm not terribly worried about it. I don't think that actually changes anything here, so whatever. Let's go ahead and move on. We do have... The enemies increase level, by the way, uh, from that. But again, I don't really care. So I'm not, I'm just not worried about it. I think that's one of the biggest things about all of this uh, is it just, it's not terribly concerning um, due to the fact that, uh, well, it's like you're not, I don't know, you're just not hurting in this one, in these ones. Oh, later it'll be different. But for right now, you're just not hurting, so it's kind of doesn't really matter. Um, oh, I guess I can actually just use... I think I can just use this to finish these guys off. Oh, um... Unless I screw that one up. Okay, those guys are gone. Let's finish up the last one, since I borked that up. Here, uh, how about we just throw Miriam forward? And, you know, let's see if we can't take him out just with a regular attack, rather than an Omega attack. Oh, whoa! 41,000 damage! Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, let's actually heal up after that, because we just take a little bit of damage. Nothing big, but it's fine. All right, next the thing that we have uh, is we've got the Sanction Room. This one, you have to complete the stage in one turn, but you can't do it the first time because of Tink. So let me just beat Tink and then I will meet you on the other side of this battle. Okay, so into this battle, we need to defeat this battle uh, all at once in one turn. Uh, these are the only guys we've got, so we should absolutely be fine. Let's start with a Wing Slayer, make this a little bit easier. Not like I'm going to be super concerned about it, but, you know. And we'll use a Turbulence over here to take those two guys out. And then Rosalind can come over here and take this guy out. And Watt can come over here and take this guy out. These guys are all level 4, so if you're having trouble, you're probably not ready for the Dark World. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. In my brain. I kind of snorted in real life. And we're done here. Let's go ahead and head into the dark world. Yes, please. Come in. Okay, this battle is different. Uh, let me zoom out, please. Okay, so we have a warp and we have a no entry and we have a bunch of guys up here that we need to defeat. They're all level 90, so it's not a big deal. Let's take a quick look at the sun report. We only have a few rounds until we can actually get this done, so that's, that's a problem. Let's put uh, Mustafa here, and I think... You know what? I don't think we can actually toss uh, across. So, um, yeah, so just a heads up. But what we can do... Let's see, who would be the best to bring Miriam, I think? And yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, and turn. They're gonna warp 
onto the other side. Let's go all the way over here. And let's go ahead and just toss forward. And then at this point, what we can do is actually um, just take out this no entry panel. No more of that problem. And we only have six guys, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do some tossing because we do actually want to take some of these guys out. That would be nice. Uh, let's start with a soaring... You know what? Let's just move and punch him in the face. These guys are level 90, so I'm not too worried. Not worried at all, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's bring out you, and let's send... Let's send Tsukasa, because she's got some range on her. Okay, and uh, we should be fine. You're probably gonna swarm. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it doesn't matter. I was about to say, if this even more than one point of damage, I'd be surprised. Oop, well, she got warped back. I forgot to move her. That does not matter. Let's go ahead and just use, I don't know, an ice attack maybe? Sure, that works. And uh, I don't know if I can actually reach with you. No, no, I can't. All right, well then how about a, sure, there we go. That should actually end this battle. And done. Yeah, not a problem. I got a force staff out of that. I actually don't, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, wow, we already won. You don't need a target computer anymore. <laughs> I don't know if it's too bit that. Okay, so next we have the Room of Despair. Probably need to complete this one twice, but you need to move no more than eight spaces. So um, again, if I don't get it the first time, I'll just meet you on the other side. Okay, so let's show you how to do this. And so, yeah, no, this one's actually really easy. Let's go ahead and start with Mustafa here and I'm gonna take out, um, she got poisoned last time, by the way. <laughs> I was probably gonna have this round too. Uh, let's see. Actually, we can do here and do a winged slayer. Perfect. All right, so that's one movement point. Here's two. Let's go ahead and use Peachy here. I'm gonna throw her over there. I think she'll be okay there. Throwing does not count as moving, so um, not a problem. Uh, let's see, Edward. And let's go ahead and throw out a Tsukasa. I think, oh, you actually can't reach. Uh, four or five, okay. Now what's probably gonna happen here is I'm gonna move forward and be able to complete this next part without actually moving. Divine light. This needs to be less than eight, so we should be good. Yeah. Ow, wait, who hit me? Let's see. I'm glad that missed. The poison blast isn't too big of a deal, but the poison part of it is. Be down. I don't actually care. Oh, she's right in front. I see what happened. Okay, let's go ahead and finish that up. Let's get this out of the way, and then um, this also. This should uh, this should finish this up. I did not need a crit there, but thank you. Gate to the Dark World is opened, and we can just head out. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, we are surrounded. <laughs> what do we got here? Let's zoom out a little bit so I can see what's going on. Uh, so first of all, not that one. First of all, uh, right after this, the paste panel will be crushed, so we need to be careful. Uh, no entry panels. 
all over the place. That's fun. Uh, let's go ahead and start with you. I'm gonna get a winged slayer off to finish off three of them. I think maybe a turbulence will work great on those guys. Let's start with that. Ready? I don't even see what level these guys are. Maybe I should probably do that so I have an idea of what you could be dealing with. Not a problem. Okay, yeah, these guys are level 90 bowmasters. Um, you could say whatever you want here. Uh, can I just, like, not... Looks like I'm using an Omega something or another. Okay, let's go ahead and do these guys. Just finish them off. Well, she's on the base panel, so she needs to be moved. The crush base panel is important. Um, there are some Uh, let's see. I guess maybe you can finish up these three. Not a problem. I got some nice XP bonus there. All right. So now we just have the sealed room, which uh, I absolutely know that I need to beat first. So I'll just meet you in chapter three after I finish this. I guess I should actually just say that you can lift someone. Um, I actually can't get in there right now, so I'll just meet you in a second. Alright, well welcome to chapter three. Uh, I think we actually have Tink finally. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and he comes with slippers. Um, actually, I think I want to equip him with some other stuff later because we do have like a whole bunch I think we have a whole bunch uh that's not what I wanted I didn't want that put that back please I think we have like a whole bunch of shoes that I've been collecting yeah there's the angel sandals that I've been collecting uh that way he could move a little bit further inside the um you know the item world. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap, yeah, because that will actually up his uh, movement to 13. Yeah, that's, that's actually worth it. All right, and we did get the final location in Zenon's palace, the sealed room. This was only a three star, so that's not bad. Let's find out what we got. Let's zoom out here. Looks like we got some guys that are going to be go into the sun, uh, only level 90, and we do have a Chaos Soldier back there, level 100, the sun report, um, wow. Hmm. Actually, the sun's doing us good things in this one, I don't know why, to be honest with you. I wonder, I don't want to show that off. Uh, let's see, if I put you here. Wait, can I zoom out? There we go. I was like, I feel a little lopsided. Yeah, that would be why. All right, let's put you here. I want to put you here. Can I do a dimension slash here? I don't know how many this is going to hit. Let's find out. That, that was, that, ooh. Right, I... I really wanted to see more of this battle, didn't, didn't you? Anyway. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, soldier. Perfect. Okay, so that completes chapter one and two's set of um, Dark World. Uh, we do want to go into three and four at a later point in time. 
I don't think we need to give anybody any money right now. Oh, yes, we can't actually. Let's go ahead and do that. This is uh, chapter three. So they want a little bit more funds. Also, it is I, the hero Kotaro. Back in my hometown of Sarkoke Village, I had never known defeat until I was beaten by a cute penguin. That penguin must have been the highly rumored Prinny Val. All my allowance was taken, but I need some money to use the hospital. Can you help a fellow hero out? Sure. I actually don't know if we're going to get this one. Um, I honestly don't know what else to say about any of this. Uh, let's just give him some... These guys, some of the stuff that we got. I don't really care. I don't know if we're gonna get this due to the fact that there's so many bad things in here. Oh, here, I can build the axe. I don't need that. Uh, nobody wants my flan. Hmm, stealing here. Huh? Do I wanna keep those? Uh, there is something that I wanna steal a little later. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna do that, <laughs> but eventually. Um, because there is something else that we do need. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. So we paid him a hundred health, or a thousand health. Awesome, I shall use this money to win the heart of the girl who works at the hospital. Man, she's fine. Just kidding. Uh, one of the things I do want to mention here, um, I want weapon parts. We're going to be doing that a little bit later. Um, but there is something that I actually do want to steal before that I before I can actually uh, take care of that. So I think I think that's it for today's episode. Uh, we'll continue working on more of the Dark World stuff at a later point in time. I'll see you guys then, probably next week. I am doing this weekly, aren't I?